We had the chance to speak with Travel Point expert Andrew D'Amour about some tips and tricks that could help you make the most out of your travel dollars. We've all heard of mileage running and people who earn thousands and thousands of points via their credit cards. But is the game worth it? And have you heard of mattress runs? Mm, that's a new thing. <laughs> well, joining us now is Andrew D'Amour, co-founder of Flytrippers.com, to tell us all about it. Welcome to the show. Hi, thanks for having me. Okay, so tell us why earning points by actually traveling is getting less important. Well, unless you're traveling like literally every week for work and, and even then really for the past decade or and even a little bit more credit cards go, it goes really a lot faster because, well, you're going to earn on everything you spend. So not just on, you know, the actual trip. So all year long and banks, you know, a lot of banks in the U.S. really want new customers and they offer really good welcome bonuses, welcome offers, whatever you call them. You spend a little bit amount in the first three months and you get a really huge welcome bonus. So that really adds up a lot quicker than actually earning by traveling or earning by staying in hotels. It's, it's exponentially more fast. So how would, you suggest, uh, how would you suggest that beginners get started? Would they actually start with that welcome bonus through like a credit card or what do you suggest? Yeah, uh, for, for almost, the, for the vast majority of people, you'll be way better off with a flexible, you know, bank rewards program that gives you a lot of options. Like for example, there's a really good card that's for beginners, the Chase Sapphire Preferred. It's like, mm a really good welcome bonus and you can use it for really simple redemption. So if you don't want it, because a lot of people are get scared about points and miles because you know there are a lot of rules, a lot of complications. And it's true that you know a part of it can be very complicated. But you can also use your points exactly directly for statement credits to erase travel purchases. So you buy any flight, any hotel and you just redeem your points against that purchase directly on your account. So that's really, really simple. And you know, you don't have to learn anything and you can you can get started more quickly. Oh. Hey, Andrew, why is a pandemic a great time to start doing this? Well, a lot of people are traveling less, um, that's for sure. So uh, w why not take this time? You're, you're probably like me and you kind of are, you know, itching to get back out there and missing travel. So, well, getting, you know, a little bit of investment in your time of your time into this will lead you to get, you know, more free trips at the end of the year or whenever you're ready to travel. So you put a little bit of time in now and you'll have, you know, points and rewards for a free flight, free hotel, whatever, whenever you're ready to travel. So it's really the faster you get started, it's, it, you have to be in this for the long game. So like the faster you get into it, you'll learn, you'll, you know, you'll find out really good tips about how to even maximize even further your your points but it's really it doesn't have to be complicated that's really the biggest barrier you get started get one new card use your points the f easiest way and then you can dabble into you know well hotel points are a little bit more complicated but can be a lot more lucrative and then even for flights if you like business class flights or more luxurious travel that's where yes. you can get a lot more value <laughs> But now um, you're speaking that's Nikki's a little bit language. more complicated. You kind of have to learn a little bit more. <laughs> so speaking of hotel points, when you and I were emailing back and forth before today, we were talking about collecting points and miles and everything, and you brought up mattress runs, and I had never heard of that before. Yeah. Tell me what a mattress run is. <laughs> so essentially, uh, a few if you value, you know, luxury or VIP benefits, you want to become an elite status member with you know a hotel chain, whether it's Hilton, Marriott, Hyatt. Uh, and every year they have, you know, a set of, uh, of requirements to earn that status. Good news for, for one of the few good news to come out of the pandemic is that yes, this year it's really easier. They've all lowered their, their qualification status uh, for status um, levels. So you can more easily get this. So then you'll get free upgrades. You'll get uh, mm -hmm. free breakfast in hotels and a lot of, you know, a lot of good things to have when you're traveling. So basically a lot of people, when either you find a really cheap, hotel like i know if we're talking about just in the us for domestic travel there are sometimes some branded hotels that are 40 dollars a night in some you know more obscure places in in uh, in rural areas so you go there you rack up those nights because you need to reach uh, a certain set you know of uh, of nights so once you get that you become an elite status and it costs you a lot less than actually just you know going into the expensive hotels and Maybe with your regular travel, you don't even stay enough to actually reach that level. That's For true. example, to reach Marriott uh, titanium status in December Damn. last year, I needed 75 <laughs> nights and I was at 74. So the last night that I that I did, I, I actually booked two nights in Istanbul and I was leaving. My flight was leaving on the, you know, before that second night, but I just didn't check out, left. And that 75th night was, 
you know, my mattress run. So I wasn't even there, but it counted as a night because I booked it. I paid it, it cost me 40 bucks and now I'm titanium for the whole year. So that's kind of the gist. Okay. Yeah. What you don't see happening behind the cameras right now is everyone chick. Ah, oh, mm, that makes sense. Because I mean, we, we're all playing the points in the miles game, but like, I never mm. thought of booking the hotel rooms no. and then just not, you know, staying one night and then not staying, but those nights actually count. All he had to exactly. say was titanium status yeah, I and I was in. <laughs> hey, Andrew, where can we go for more information? Um, you can check out our website, flytrippers.com. At the top bottom, there's a travel rewards section. Uh, if you want to learn a bit more about the, the great card offers that are really good for beginners right now, and just a little bit learn, uh, learn what, well, how leisure travelers can take advantage of points. Because, you know, um, if you want to travel just once, twice, three times a year, well, you can easily get all, you know, almost all those trips for free if you invest a little bit of time. Oh, we've got some work to do, Bobby. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Definitely. Andrew, thank you so much for joining us with all this great information. Thanks, Andrew. It's my pleasure. Titanium. <laughs> we've got to take a quick break, but there's lots more of the Jet Set still to come. You don't want to miss it. Nikki never does. I heard titanium and I was like, whoa. <laughs>